welcome to my very first video in my jQuery series and in this series we're going to take a look at how to make our websites a lot more interactive using jQuery. So first of all what is jQuery? Well jQuery is a JavaScript library and what it allows us to do is manipulate HTML in our document and also add events and even add animation to our web page really easily. So before we can use jQuery the first thing we have to do is actually download it and I'm gonna go over to jQuery.com so I'm gonna open up my browser over here and as you can see I'm already at jQuery.com and how's this for a cool demonstration of something that jQuery will allow us to do if I hover over this image you can see it rotates 360 degrees and that's pretty cool and that is something that we're going to be able to do when we learn how to use jQuery so I'm going to click on this download button over here and that's going to take me over to jQuery.com slash download and this is the download page where I can obviously choose what version of HTML or <laughs> version of jQuery I'd like to download and uh, as you can see in the paragraph below jQuery 2 uh, X we can see that it doesn't support Internet Explorer 6, 7 or 8 and since Internet Explorer 8 is relatively common we recommend that you use version 1 so we're not going to make use of version 2 for now we're actually going to just keep with version 1 and I'm going to click on this and as you can see we now have this really weird mumbo jumbo file like it, it's not even readable but this is actually compressed JavaScript so I clicked on the compressed version of jQuery and this is actually the compressed file of jQuery in here and I'm going to hit control A and that is going to select everything and then I'm going to hit control C and that's going to copy all of this to my clipboard and if I go back over to my text editor and click file new I can paste that all in here and this is going to be my jQuery file so what I want to do now is actually save this so I'm going to click file and save as and make sure that you keep note of where you are saving this in my case I'm actually saving it in my tutorial one folder next to my HTML file and I'm actually going to create a folder over here called JS and that is going to contain all of the JavaScript that we're going to be writing over the next couple tutorials so I'm going to go into that folder and in here I'm going to save my file as jQuery.js and make sure that you're saving this as a JS file otherwise it's not going to work so I'm just going to hit uh, JavaScript over here from the drop down and now we have a JavaScript file so I'm going to click save and there we go jQuery has been saved and we actually not going to need to work in this at all so I'm just going to click close and that is jQuery done it's saved on our computer now we actually have to add that jQuery file onto our web page and the way we're going to do that is by opening up a source tag or a script tag my bad so script and I'm going to end this off with ending script and this is going to add that script file or that JavaScript file to our web page so I'm going to give this a type of text slash JavaScript and then I'm also going to give this a source of JS slash jQuery dot JS and the source is obviously the location of my JavaScript file and if I um, actually just go ahead and say open over here you can see that we've got my index file here got the JS file here so we're going down that folder and into this jQuery file right there so that's why we've got JS slash jQuery so I'm going to click save and now we actually have added our jQuery to the web page with that line of code right there and I'm actually going to keep this line of code 
at the bottom of my page. So all of the rest of my code is actually going to go above this tag. So now that we've actually added jQuery to our web page, the first thing I want to do is actually test to see if JavaScript is working and then I also want to test to see if jQuery is working. So I'm going to add a paragraph to my body over here and this doesn't really need to say anything important so we can just say uh, hey there what's up and that's our paragraph but like I said doesn't need to say anything too important and I really need to get rid of this phone because <laughs> that just made a really loud vibration um, okay so now what we need to do is add an event to this paragraph so I'm gonna say on click and we're gonna set this equal to something so I'm gonna say alert and inside parentheses over here I'm going to say um, oh, I'm gonna add two more uh, quotation marks these are gonna be single quotation marks as you can see and I'm gonna say this works and I'm gonna end that off with a semicolon and this is actually a JavaScript statement so when I click save and I run this in my browser, let's go ahead and run this in Firefox, you can see when I click on this, I should get an alert box that pops up and says this works. That means JavaScript is fine, JavaScript is working correctly, and if this doesn't happen, that means you either made an error when you were typing this line, or JavaScript has been disabled in your browser and you're going to have to uh, fix that some way. I'm not sure how you're gonna have to fix that because you're gonna have to do some research into why it was turned off in the first place. Now the um, second thing we need to do is actually test jQuery and so I'm gonna delete all of that stuff in this on click event handler and I'm gonna add some jQuery code and the first thing we're gonna do is add in a dollar then I'm going to open up parentheses and close them and I'm going to type the word this and after that I'm going to add a full stop and I'll type the word hide and I'm going to follow that with some parentheses and we're going to add in a semicolon and what we're doing here is we're actually selecting an element so in jQuery we select elements by adding a dollar and then some word in brackets and in this case we want to select this paragraph so we're typing the word this but there are a few other selectors which we will learn about later on in the series. And then we're going to, or what we've done in the second part here is actually just added this function dot hide and that is going to hide the paragraph when we click on this. So let's click save and let's go back over to Firefox. I'm going to click refresh because of course we want our new JavaScript code to be loaded and I'm going to click on this and boom, the paragraph disappeared. So that means that jQuery is working and JavaScript is working and we should be good to go with the next few tutorials. So I'll see you guys. Yeah.